Food for thought. It's 11.50 a.m. September 19th. Food for thought. I'm Alexander Surya Johnny. I'm on the right hand thing with the birthmark. So you should ponder some things. Anyone who's not reporting technology that threatens humanity. Technology that can be used to covertly kill human beings on a large scale. Technology that can be used for espionage and harvesting information from the brain that, for the brain as thoughts come to awareness. That can be used for so much evil it's scary. In the hands of evildoers. In the hands of people with zero respect for human life. In the hands of control and domination lunatics. In the hands of people who have psychiatric illness, homicidal features, and more than inhuman stupidity. You should be scared if people know about this and are not reporting it to real law enforcement, CIA, United Nations, etc. Because, like I've said numerous times, who wouldn't report things that threaten humanity? Who would get mad about someone reporting things that threaten humanity? That's a really odd thing. Always oh, reporting things that threaten humanity. I'm mad. Kill him. It's like, what? Why would anyone support things that threaten humanity? Why would people want humanity to be not safe? Only someone with more than inhuman stupidity would be mad at someone for reporting things that threaten and endanger humanity. Only someone with psychiatric illness would be mad about that. Or only someone involved with things that threaten humanity would be mad at someone reporting things that threaten humanity. Only someone who's a threat to humanity or has more than inhuman stupidity or psychiatric illness would even try to discredit someone who has key information about things that threaten humanity and reports to law enforcement about things that threaten humanity. I'm the one who wrote the first DOJ letter. This was in 2019 about this global terrorist plot, this implantation jazz, telepathy, Espionage, economic espionage, terrorist financing, illegal weapons manufacturing and distribution, the crimes I'm a victim of, this technology, the illegal human programming, amongst many other things. And then these people have been sitting around trying to tamper, perform witness tampering on me daily, and are trying to commit crimes on me daily, assaulting me, sexually assaulting me, trying to make me look psychotic, shocking my brain, heart, genitals. It should tell you only people who are threats to humanity or have more than inhuman stupidity or psychiatric illness or are involved would do anything to me. Because as you'd be crazy to do anything to me as I'd be an expert witness pertaining to this tech, pertaining to the things I experienced and heard. I was the one who was in every game, whatever the hell that means, and hearing information from all sorts of different communities with this device in my brain. It wasn't whoever claims they were. It was Jayani. And then, you, you know, what you should do is look at my original DOJ letter and other DOJ letters, read them, and then a key way to find hidden agendas and things they're trying to cover up, like I was saying, see what they erased. Because, you know, when things that threaten humanity are involved, you should, you know, explore every angle. You shouldn't erase stuff and say, oh, that's not significant, especially when you're not the guy who was hearing and you really don't know shit. Yeah, you, you shouldn't be hiding stuff, especially key shit like that. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be um, erasing stuff here you're not sure about. Or, you know, are they erasing stuff they're not sure about? Or are they erasing stuff that reveals some of their hidden agendas? Something to look into. Because in a sense, I would be the expert on the case because I was the one re receiving all this information. I'm not an investigator, I'm a victim. But my information should be taken very seriously because I was the one receiving all this and experiencing this and experiencing the technology, not these people pretending to. So who are these guys to say what's, what's legitimate and not? And then erase key information when they didn't even know, they, when they thought I was psychotic when I was talking about this stuff. Now, a lot of these people were telling people I was psychotic when I was saying implantation was real, telepathy was real. And this was like 2019, uh, early to mid-2018 was when I was telling my parents about implantation and telepathy. And then all these people were saying I was psychotic. So who are they, to, and they didn't even realize there was terrorism involved, implantation, telepathy, etc., and this technology. So who are they to comment on what's relevant and what's not in my letters? Unless they were involved and they're trying to hide, cover up stuff, cover up key information. Key point. So I'd look into that too.